Washington is pressing Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to accede to its proposal to resume Israeli-Palestinian peace talks on the basis of U.S. President Barack Obama's May 19th speech. An Israeli source who spoke recently with senior officials in Washington said the Americans were frustrated with Netanyahu's behavior, feeling that he, has impe he was impeding America's efforts to keep the Palestinians from unilaterally seeking UN recognition of a state in September. Netanyahu's personal envoy, Isaac Moho, uh, spent last week in Washington where the Americans presented their proposal for resuming talks on the basis of Obama's speech. Specifically, Obama's plan calls for negotiating over borders and security first, while deferring issues such as Jerusalem and the refugees until later. It also calls for the borders to be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed land swaps. The Americans told Moho that to block European initiatives such as France's proposal for an international peace conference in Paris, they must have something concrete to offer, like Netanyahu's agreement to negotiate on the basis of Obama's speech. The U.S. proposal was also given to Chief uh, Palestinian negotiator Saeb Erkat, who said the Palestinians would resume talks on this basis. An Israeli source who maintains close ties with both senior U.S. officials and people close to Netanyahu said that Washington's frustration began with Netanyahu's trip to Washington last month when he publicly fought with Obama and then refused in an address to Congress to endorse the president's outline for talks. The Americans were now speaking very harshly of Netanyahu, said the source. He's asking us to protect him in September, but he isn't giving us any tools with which to help him, the source quoted one American official as saying, instead of helping us, he's making it harder for us. As a result, American officials complained Obama was unable to get Britain and uh, France to commit to opposing a unilateral Palestinian move when he visited Europe last month. The Americans need Israel inside, but Netanyahu isn't there yet, the source said. To date, from the American and European perspective, Israel hasn't given anything. European diplomats said Netanyahu's speech to Congress was viewed in Europe as one long no and had thus increased European distrust of him. We want to hear Netanyahu say he's willing to negotiate on the basis of Obama's speech and that he'll discuss borders based on the 1967 lines with land swaps, said one diplomat. Since the Barron talks with Moho last week, the uh, White House has been upping the pressure on Netanyahu. On Friday, Steve Simon, who uh, heads the U.S. National Security Council's Middle East, Des told American Jewish leaders that Netanyahu needs to reply within a, a month to the U.S. proposal for restarting talks. However, Netanyahu's office insisted it was unaware of any American pressure or ultimatum. Italy and Germany so far have stated that they will oppose any unilateral Palestinian move, but if the diplomatic impasse continues, Germany will sponsor a UN Security Council resolution together with Britain and France, that calls on the Council to endorse Obama's speech as the basis uh, for talks. I have a strong feeling Netanyahu will at some point buckle under U.S. and world pressure and agree to sit down to negotiations based on a close variation of Obama's speech. This report states that he has uh, one month to make up his mind, or better said, come around to what Obama wants or face an isolation of international proportions. That would likely include international sanctions and most uh, importantly the loss of U.S. military aid. Israel's Middle East air and land supremacy rises and falls based on continued shipments of vital parts and munitions from the U.S. The fact that Palestinian negotiator Saeed Barakat has signaled that he would set down the negotiations based on Obama's speech has put the onus completely on uh, Netanyahu and sets the stage for him to reverse his position or what I believe will be a U.S. betrayal. Frankly, I do not believe it will come down to this. 
In other news, North Korea has uh, probably succeeded in miniaturizing a nuclear device, South Korea's defense minister said on Monday, an advance that would, in theory, allow the hermit state to place an atomic warhead on a rocket. If true, it would mark a key advance in the North's drive to develop a functioning nuclear weapon, though the threat, that threat appears to be potential rather than actual. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.